to the Honourable Member for Saanich Gulf Islands, Ms. May. Ms. May, go ahead. The Chair, it's through to the Prime Minister. There's a, tr a pattern in history where sometimes leaders will use a crisis that ab absorbs people's attention to do things they otherwise might not do for fear of global condemnation. Such as in a pandemic, we see President Bolsonaro of Brazil turning more brutality against indigenous people in the Amazon. My questions want to focus on the People's Republic of China, which I think is doing the same thing, and on Prime Minister Netanyahu in Israel. To the question of China, we now see the People's Republic of China cracking down in Hong Kong in ways that violate the commitment to one country, two systems. What will the Government of Canada do to help Canadian citizens, even if they are dual citizens of the People's Republic, to get home to Canada? The Honourable Minister. Mr. I'd like to thank uh, the colleague for the question. We know that the one country, two system is what has been underpinning uh, the liberty and freedom enjoyed by the people in Hong Kong. We are very concerned and deeply concerned by the imposition unilaterally by Beijing of a uh, national security law, which would undermine that very foundation. And what we're looking, Mr. Speaker, is we're working with allies to look at the implication that that imposition would have on the various arrangements and agreements that we have in place with Hong Kong. Back to Ms. May. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. I hope that I will hear from the government in coming days what we plan to do for the citizens of Canada who are